大家好，我叫张毅。Здравствуйте, мы имя Александр Александр Нагунчик. Салам, меня зовут Миляй, меня зовут Марс. Оля, меня зовут Николь, Джордж. Привет, меня зовут Кристина. Мархаба, новый муахида. Оля, мой номер это Даниэла Лопес Висенсио. My name is Ufoma Kalasi. I'm from Nigeria. Kinda, you know, like people are so kind in here, but it's so cold. And the place where I live in Turkey, it's warm. Kind for the home, because、uh, in China I have a lot of friends. Turkey is warm. Canada is really cold, like minus thirty. Yes, Canada feels like home to me sometimes. I totally forgot that I'm not from here. I guess maybe. I mean, like I've been here five years. I was in Nigeria for twelve years, so like it's not up to the way Nigeria felt like home for me. But I mean, I'm used. It's no longer shocking, I guess. A little bit with my friends in Colombia. Well, I don't see them every day or. Each weekend, so yeah, definitely, because I haven't been back to Nigeria the five years that we've been here. So I haven't like we talk over like you know video chatting, FaceTime, whatever. But like we haven't been able to see person to person, so it's definitely changed. Yeah. No, any of my relationship has changed. No, since I came here, it's everything fine and normal. I think that my relationship with my family and friends. Did change because of you know I'm exploring new country, new culture, new world kind of, and I think that people can notice that I'm different person that I've been before came to Canada. Yeah, they miss me a lot, you know, and before like because of that they are being jealous, <laughs> like they're like angry at me for some reason I don't know. When I just came to Canada, that felt more like a sweet dream. The food, deep fire, yes, make me fat. Ah, <laughs> let me get fat. It has better economy. People in here are nicer, and they're more like polite and kinder to you. Multiculturalism, I guess, because there are like a lot of international students in here. People. Like ask that if I speak Arabic, like, which is kind of stereotype, and I really didn't like it. There was also people thought that I'm Russian when I was telling them that I'm not Russian and I'm Ukrainian. They said it is like the same thing, and that was like really uncomfortable for me a little bit. There's a lot of ignorance, and like you know, stereotypes are based off of like ignorance. People don't really know that much. So I mean, I got questions that were like, "Oh, do you guys have ice cream in Nigeria?" kind of thing. And I mean, like, was I offended by that? No, I wasn't because I understood that they actually didn't know, right? But when people like people haven't been like outright like rude to me because of like my skin color or like where I'm from, it's just a lot of questions that people don't really know the answers to. Oh, weather. Winter, maybe it's cool. I can't make friends. I can't to everywhere because I have no car. My English was really bad, and like understanding teachers, it was one of the hard thing. Understanding peers. So everything was new to me when I first came to Canada, and I was very shy that I didn't know how to speak my first like English, how, how to speak English. Also, hardest thing was to work in a group with people who knows English because I felt a little bit useless because I couldn't do anything. When I first got here, mostly Canadians were my friends because they're super friendly, you know, and they're like, "Oh, there's a new kid, like girl in our class, whatever."、Um, I think I only have international friends, and I have friends from Thailand, Brazil, <laughs> Germany, so. Because most newcomers come to school and all day they focus on English and they think in English and they talk in English and everything, and then as soon as they go home, they're back into their mother tongue, they're back into their own language, and then it's like starting over again when you come back to school the next day. So Canadians are kind of known to be friendly, but not friends. That's something we've been talking a lot about in our clubs and、um, classes. So it's easy to like make a connection and for students to be friendly and maybe not act in a racist way or a negative way, but. I don't think it's is quite as easy to be true, authentic friends with people, and to kind of get into their homes and to truly hang out、um, and make real friendships. Some students do, but、um, by the time if somebody's a newcomer in high school, 
it's even that much harder because you're a little more self-conscious in high school, so I think it's hard to make friends, real friends here. Uh, for many Canadian students, uh, it's sort of up to them to choose their own path and do whatever they want um, and go after what they're interested in, but in some cultures that I'm dealing with, it's not only an individual decision. They need to consider their family unit, they need to consider their community group, and, and, and it's not just what that student wants for themselves, but what's gonna help my family out, what's gonna be better for our community, how can I best serve my community. Uh, so that's one thing that comes to mind anyway. Teenagers are teenagers no matter where you live in the world, and sometimes people don't really realize that, but if they did, they would understand that they have a lot more in common to bond them together. Like, for example, because I can understand some Korean, like if I hear Korean students talking to each other, I know what kind of conversations they're having and I know what kind of topics. It's exactly the same things that the Canadian kids are talking about and the way that they're talking with their friends. So I think really there's, there are more similarities than differences. Really, language and culture are the only differences. The rest is all pretty much the same. Дякую за те, що ви подивились наше творчество.